What's up? I got the Taurus back in. It came uh, Wednesday that just passed. Today is Sunday. I uh, shot it yesterday. Uh, grab this. This is um, full speed clips. This is what I shot. So, now I'm taking it apart and uh, looking at it and give it a little spray of ballast already. So, let's take a look. So, this is the piece that was broken on it right here. When I said it was a lemon, and you know, it still is kind of a lemon, it's a fucking Taurus. There's three little notches here. Sorry, it won't focus. Here, here, and here. On the other side, the notches are pins. Now, this pin right here snapped off, and uh, that's, and this is with a, uh, I'm fucking stutter, stuttering again, and this is what makes the cylinder rotate. You pull the trigger, uh, it pushes up, rotates the cylinder, as well as pulls, pulls back the hammer, and fires. What was happening is, um, it was either pulling back and the hammer was coming back and going forward, or or just locking up completely either which the cylinder would not rotate at all at all so this little piece has a lot to do with the whole gun pretty stupid here's the transfer bar the hammer that's a safety uh, and that's it so oh another thing um when you take the panel off of a torus, you, you insert the screwdriver and pry up. On a Smith and Wesson, you don't need to pry it; you just bump it. You take a screwdriver, well, not this one, but this one, and you just and it pops right off. But on a torus, they're they're shitty. You need to pry it off. This little screw right here. Let's, Actually, right here is what controls the the cylinder from. Uh, sorry, the camera's fucking up. It controls the cylinder from moving around and, and going up and down. This part, particularly. So when I got it back, our, our problem was uh, this wouldn't go into the locking gate. I had to push with my finger. And then lock it in, or just really quickly slam it in, which I don't like, because it uh, see scratches up the gun. And um, this is not my cylinder either. I, they think I think they swapped it out, because there's there still is cosmoline on it, and it was covered, really covered. But uh, ballast all kicks cosmoline's ass. <laughs> this little screw is also three parts: a pin. A spring and then uh, and then a screw with a hole in it, which uh, yeah, and it controls it controls the whole thing. Like push it in. This pin and spring. Sorry, but I got it. Goes in. Goes into this end right here, and it controls it uh, up and down. You know, keeps it. Look at all that fucking wear. I don't care. I'm selling this gun. Uh, let's see. Two other screws. Uh, that's it. You know, I got cover up my name. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna let you guys know. Dear valued customer, your farm has been your firearm has been repaired under our lifetime repair policy. They changed the repair policy on these 38s from, uh, I'm stammering again, from limited to lifetime, which is good. Thank you for being a Taurus owner. Sincerely, customer service, problems found, cylinder jams, re resolution adjusted. <laughs> and there's no parts noted, nothing. And they fixed it pretty quickly. All they did was they swapped out the cylinder and swapped out the, um, fuck, the extractor. Fuck, I'm stuttering too much. Fuck me. So, yeah. I'm going to put the...
turn it upside down. Hold on, I can pause the video for one second. Sorry about that. I put the little pin back in. So what you do is you just line it up. It goes right in. Now, see there's a lot of space right there. It's also what pushes up pushes up that little pin right there. But there's a little play. They added they added a, a an O-ring. But I'm just going to close it up. Sorry, I have to push it against my body. Because it's, it's a good spring. They, it's a newer spring. <sighs> From Greece. Rotate it to the next bolt. So, or notch, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, you know, those that have a camera person to help them out. Like, they have their brother or whoever to help them out. You should feel fucking lucky. My uh, 5 megapixel camera fucking broke. Never let f Mexicans hold a camera that's worth $300. So I'm stuck back with the Samsung Vibrant as a camera. Fits on nice and tight. I'm going to screw in these two screws right here. Now the... Now the screw, pin, whatever it's called, this little thing, the last one, goes last. Got two different types of screwdrivers. This is just a regular small screwdriver, and the other one is a, a better fit. Hold on, I want to make sure these are really tight. Alright, so that one's in tight. I like to use a lot of force to make sure they're in there. Because once you put the grip on, the stock grip only covers this one, not that one. So there, that's, that's fucking tight. Don't worry about sh uh, the sides stripping. Not the screw, but the sides, because this bluing is fucking shit. It's garbage. And it act, you know, it actually comes off just by touching it. So don't worry about it. Now, here's the tricky part. You can't just put this pin screw in, like, you can't just put it in and tighten it. It won't work. You gotta open, you gotta open the cylinder, put it in, tighten it a little till it, till it catches, Close the cylinder and then tighten it. So all right. That's it's open. You know, I'm gonna prop the camera up against Captain Crunch here. What's up, Captain? What else should I be yeah, gonna use this? Prop it up as well. Alright, so. Hope you can see what I'm doing. <sighs> Fucking hate Cosmo. He is a 6 and 1. And the 6 and 1 is a little magnetized, so that's good. Let's see if it feeds. And yeah, it's in there. So now it's still loose. It's, it'll still go this and that way. But it's just in there enough to where you can close the gate. And then it's um, slanted right now. This end to this end. Slanted. What I want is an even... So I'm just going to tighten it. Get in there. Nice and tight. Still not tight enough. Because I put grease in there. So it'll keep its functionality. Good. That's better. That's perfect. 
and uh, and that's it. Now I'm just gonna put the grip on. This is the little pin. Oh, I didn't know. That. I just figured out an option on my phone. If you touch the screen, it'll automatically in increments. That's good. So I'm gonna put that pin back in. I'm just gonna put the grip back in. You don't need to see me put the fucking grip back together. <laughs> I just want to make this video as an update that uh, Taurus is fixed. It took less than three days for it to get fixed and come back. One day there, two days to be prepared. One day on the on the road, and on the f fucking third day, it came back. So yeah, Thursday to Wednesday. Do the math. Anyway, this said peace.